Hello, God bless you. My name is Dr. Dale Sines. I've got something exciting to share with you on a subject that is revolutionary, a breakthrough in the knowledge of the Messiah. And as the heavens declare him to be Jesus of Nazareth, he is the Astro Logos. You know, I've always been concerned about what astrology has been hiding because it's a dangerous thing to see the counterfeit and not be able to know the genuine. Through my years of questing and over 40 years of research, I have continually kept my mind in the subject of biblical astronomy, hoping to it someday to debunk astrology and find out the true value of what was being counterfeited by charlatans and by astro diviners, miscalled so-called astrologers. As I've continued to study this field, we have made amazing breakthroughs in this, and I say we, this is a team of us. I'm standing on the shoulders of giants as we have disclosed some amazing breakthroughs in biblical astronomy married with computer day uh, technology that allows us to read things in the heavens that would make the Magi of old turn green with envy. But this is amazing breakthrough because we have discovered and debunked the message that the enemy, the devil, has tried to cloak, and that is the true message of the heavens is about Messiah. Long and short, and this is not just the message of Christianity, this is the message of the language of the stars. In our quest to understand this, and I said we we're standing on the shoulders of giants, uh, there was a lady named Frances Rolleston in England in the mid-1800s that did the original research of the star names as Psalm 147.4 and Isaiah 40.26 refers to, and she discovered that regardless of the language that the star names were written in, that they had the predominantly the same meaning, which meant that there was a common meaning or a common source behind the star names before the languages were confounded at the Tower of Babel. As we constructed the meanings of these star names, we begin to see a pattern emerge that the figures drawn around the star names are in fact all messianic figures and designs of different aspects of symbology concerning Messiah. We've been able to reconstruct actually the picture of the Word of God before the Bible. And as amazing as this is, we've also discovered how to decipher the meaning. Each part of the Maseroth, as the Hebrew uh, word is called in the book of Job, this Maseroth, we have learned to decipher it, divide it, and interpret it as far as its meanings goes, not only just in the meaning of Messiah in the sky, but also what Messiah means to me and who you can be in Christ. This is fantastic. If someone had told me that this was available even 10 years ago, I would not have believed it. But we've had major breakthroughs in this, and what makes this so exciting is the heavens are all about Messiah. That's the subject uh, from Virgo through Leo. He's all about the Messiah. And in each section, as I showed you, this quadrants or these, these divisions of the heavens, these are messages about Messiah. We discovered how to read this from the Bible in Psalm 19, verse 4. Uh, and all of Psalm 19, the first seven verses, talks about the Word of God written in the heavens, written by the chief psalmist, David, uh, which has the keys to interpreting the scriptures. And Psalm 19, 4 talks about the line. There are celestial mentions throughout the Bible, and being able to decipher these, we studied the aspects of how the heavens moved, married with modern-day astronomy, and uh, we have been able to make major breakthroughs in understanding what the heavens were saying at any particular day and time in the history of man. It was interesting that in our research, Dr. Ernest Martin did his book on the star that astonished the world and established the birthday of Jesus in Gregorian dating as September the 11th in the year 3 B.C., what an amazing day. And so as we entered this into our computer programs, an amazing revelation occurred as we saw the location of the planets, the location of the planets in the birth sky of Jesus of Nazareth. As, and the birth sky of Jesus of Nazareth is, is recorded in Revelation chapter 12, verses 1, 2, 3, and 4, written in celestial um, understanding and symbols for those that can understand the language to read. Nonetheless, when we plugged in the birth date of Jesus of Nazareth, the whole heavens fell apart in chunks of gold, and we saw the meanings of the star names. We saw fulfillment of scriptures, such as Genesis 49, verses 9 and 10, 
of the prophecy of the line of Judah or the mention of the bright and morning star as the planet Venus. Just amazing things began to take place. And, and why not? I mean, this is, there's the book of Daniel promises in chapter 12 that in the end times that knowledge will increase. Men shall go to and fro. We have no problem with men going to the moon and beyond. We have no problem with knowledge increasing in science. But what about the knowledge of God's Word? And I believe that computers were developed and designed primarily to enhance us in the study of scriptures. And so it was interesting as I was led in this quest of understanding this along with other of my peers, standing on the shoulders of the giants like Francis Rolleston, E.W. Bullinger, Bill Banks, Joseph Seiss, the name of host of those that are from generations past, but modern day, the knowledge of astronomy and biblical fulfillments being championed by Mark Biltz, by uh, Jonathan Kahn, by John Hagee, by numbers of individuals, uh, D. James Kennedy, Marilyn Hickey has also written about the message of the Word of God and the stars. But when we applied this to modern day computer uh, technology and we married biblical astronomy and computer technology, we came up with an understanding that is absolutely breathtaking. That is that we are able to backtrack on your birth date, for example, and look at the significance of the location of the planets on your birth date. And this is no less than what we were able to do on Jesus' birth date. So in research, we decided that we would do this, and we found that we had actually unlocked the key to what astrologers have been trying to hide and have been hiding through their charlatan methods and their astro-demining the heavens are all about Messiah, but it's not about you. It's about Messiah through you. And which part of Messiah did God champion you to fulfill in your life? So as amazing as this is, what this is is a destiny profile of who you can be in Christ. Wow. How amazing is this? And it's, it's the alignment that's using a NASA computer technology uh, also in our research, as um, I want to uh, point you to several of our websites that we have created and computer programs that we have generated, we have been able actually to contribute to NASA's ephemerides on the locations of, for example, the planetoid series, which we found in the Bible. And you know, when you add series in the, in the planetoids in the Bible, this was the planet that was destroyed from since before the foundations of the world until now, and you include series in the count of planets, the numbers of the planets are in perfect symmetrical order. There are nine of them. Astrologers are totally wrong. And just to be clear, <clears throat> astrologers are really astro diviners. They do not study the heavens. Astrology, as we call it, is not a science. It's a practice that's, that's used to glorify individuals and usually to extract money from the people that will listen to them. This has nothing to do with that. Please, please trust me. This, astrologers are really astro diviners. They do not study the heavens. Astrology, as we call it, is not a science. It's, it's a practice that's, that's used to glorify individuals and usually to extract money from the people that will listen to them. This has nothing to do with that. Please, Please trust me, this has nothing to do with it. But you know, the value of every lie is that it's got some truth in it. So what have they been trying to hide? What they've been trying to hide is they've been trying to show you your fortune and how you can make money. The truth of this is that who you can be in Messiah and the truth of who your potential is, based upon simple principles, that the creator of the heavens, and if you do not believe that there's a creator of the heavens, then you need to go outside and look around tonight and take a good inventory. But the creator of the heavens is the creator of you. And I believe, we believe, that this is the marriage of the Word of God written in the heavens and computer technology revealing you and God's sovereign choice of His choosing for your birthday. And there is a magnificent message encoded in this. That the sun makes and divided in its right potential places so that every constellation of the original 48 given in the... As this unfolded to us, we also made another major discovery that astrologers have, in fact, men are errant in their readings. They're reading from uh, obsolete 23-year-old tables that were written in ancient Greece and with its roots in ancient Babylon. We have unlocked the mysteries of the heavens. We've seen what the belief system was 
of mankind before Mystery Babylon because of the universal names of the stars and what they mean messianic-wise. We've also been able to decode the circle. God breathed word cast a, test, a, a chance to testify of who is. As this holds true to Christians and their destiny, and Messiah, what he means to you. And then, comparably, we can, co we can compare our traits and our attributes to Messiah, and we can then make a decision and determination about who is Messiah. Hmm. Um, interesting in who they can be in Christ. The same holds true to individuals who are not saved yet, and it will show them who they can be in Christ. Likewise, it shows you who you can be in Christ. This is not a violation of your free will. This is much more like a prophetic word as the Bible talks about in Psalm 19 that it is the word of God that is uttered day and day and night and night. Well, certainly the day and night and the hour and time of when you were born is significant because you are significant. And the heavens, according to Genesis 1.14, are for signs and seasons, days and years. And actually, the word sign is the root word of significant. And your birth date is very significant and holds a very significant truth for you and who God has called you and made you potentially to be. Now, to take this a step farther, I've been able to minister and have been teaching in the nation of India for almost 20 years, going on my 20th year. And I made a huge discovery in India, and that is that the Hindus in India are taught astrology. Well, guess what? Dr. Dale, in India, I am an astrologer, and I take that title, and I wear it well because I am a super expert master astrologer in India. Actually, I'm an astronomer, but I understand the biblical truths of interpreting the heavens. It's true. It's all about Messiah. When I was in India last year, I read some profiles for some young Indian boys, uh, young men. One was a Hindu, one was a Muslim, and both of them were absolutely melted at the message of Messiah. And fishing for people that have a Hindu background in India with this information offers to me potentially to be able to spread the net and the cast for perhaps what I am considering potentially the greatest catch of men in the history of the world. I'm excited about this. I have been building the net. Um, but I want you to understand something in just in this brief statement here about Christological astronomy. We have websites. If you will go to the URL at astronomy.lmci.org, uh, you will see the finest astronomy program perhaps in the world today and the methods that is used to show the message of Christ. Actually, LMCI is becoming known in the astronomy world as this program. And LMCI means Liberating Ministries for Christ International. And every time they see or read that name, Jesus will be glorified with our research in the heavens. Astronomy.lmci.org. I have another program that is teaching people how to study this and receive different levels of certification. And the name of this program is www dot christologicalastronomy.com and I also have two programs built in addition to the astronomy.lmci.org two independent programs built to help people understand their destinies uh, one for Christians which is at www.thenewmagi.com and one for people that we're fishing with that have not met Messiah yet is at www.myaccuratezodiac.com. We're very serious about regaining the glory of God that was stolen by the devil. I am contending for the astrologos. It broke my heart one night when I was reading the heavens and the Lord spoke to me and he said, do you have any idea how long it's been since someone contended for the glory of the astrologos? You see, astrology has the astrologos hidden. Astrology, the root word of astrology, ology, the root word of ology, the study of, is logos. And hiding behind the astrology name is the astrologos, who is the glory of God revealed in the heavens. Jesus, 
of Nazareth, as we know the heavens to have called him and has foretold him as he is and is foretelling him as he is coming again. The heavens are our only really accurate timepiece. And I, I ask you in the name of the Lord Jesus and for the glory of the Astrologos, would you look into what I'm saying? Would you examine this? Would you maybe help me fish for these Hindus in India that had been taught astrology and these computer programs will help me to haul in this harvest? Uh, this is amazing information. And if you do nothing else with it, go to one of these websites and look into this. Don't be frightened. This is not astrology. There's no hook in the bait. God loves you and has always wanted you to know his calling for you in your life and the potential of who you can be. You will see these words out of the heavens are never, have never been, nor ever could be wrong because based upon the principle of the sovereignty of God and his sovereignly knowing you, he telegraphed and sent these words to you and now we have the means and the methods of discovering the location of the planets and the sun and the moon on the time of your birth and doing it with such amazing accuracy and then seeing the messianic profile that is located in those areas in the heavens based upon the ancient star names and the locations of the planetoids in NASA-approved astronomy. Once you look into this, I'm sure you'll be glad that you did. ChristologicalAstronomy.com, TheNewMagi.com, um, MyAccurateZodiac.com, Astronomy.LMCI.org, uh, and my website, uh, I am Dr. Dale Sides. My website is www.LMCI.org, and so please contact us and look into these areas which I've been discussing with you, the glory of God revealed in Jesus Christ in the heavens as the glory of the Astrologos.